Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and happy holidays. Recently, I went over my favorite musical movies of all time. We stuck to the top five, which was kind of tough, but we managed to push through it. And if you want to watch that video and see what my top five musical movies were, that link will be right up here above my head. Also in that video, I said I would be going over my favorite animated musicals as well. And well, this is that video. I had a ton of fun making the other video. I really wanted to make this one too, so we're just gonna make it and see how it goes. This is my top five animated musicals of all time. They can come from any company, any brand, you know, Disney, Pixar, Warner Brothers, whatever. You know, an old claymation Christmas movie, which, spoiler alert, there probably won't be any of those on here. But it's just a broad spectrum. If they're animated, if they're musicals, they could be on this list. Jumping right in, number five on this list is a little unorthodox, a little out there. But my number five favorite animated musical of all time is going to go to Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights. Don't worry, folks. Whitey's okay. This is the happiest seizure of my life. See, I told you. This is an outlier, admittedly, but I do love this movie. I am a very vocal Adam Sandler hater on this channel. I don't like 90% of the things that he does. But aside from Uncut Gems, I honestly believe this is one of the best movies he's ever done. Looking back on it now with the more cynical attitude that I have regarding Adam Sandler as a whole, some of the things in this movie don't hold up very well. Which is why it's all the way down here at number five on the list, but I really do enjoy this movie. It is genuinely funny. It's got some kick-ass songs in it. It's great. It's it's almost Christmas. If you haven't seen this one, it's, you know, it's got Jewish stuff. It's got Christmas stuff. It's got every, something for everybody. It's funny. Just watch it. It's really good. Number four on the list is going to go to Anastasia. Anastasia. Alive. Ain't that the kick in the head? I guess a curse just ain't what it used to be, huh, sir? There is some controversy right now around Anastasia, and they're trying to make her a Disney princess, but she's really not, not even made by Disney when it was released, I don't even think. Um, but I, I honestly couldn't care any less about any of that. The movie is set in Russia, which makes it kind of niche. Um, it's just very, like, off the wall, and as a kid, it actually scared me quite a bit. But even though it scared me, I still watched it all the time. I liked all of the music in it. I liked all of the music in it, and a lot of the songs that are in it still hold up today. Also, I'm more than, like, 60% sure this was the movie that introduced the weird, like, talking animal sidekicks in these animated musical movies, and they have pretty good ones. Uh, the, the only one after this that I kind of think did well was Danny DeVito and Hercules. I think this kind of started that, and you gotta give credit where it's due. Moving on to number three, it's Moana. Moana is freaking awesome. Hey, hey! I tried not to include too many Disney movies on this list because Disney is far too good at what they do. They are like the gold standard, like the A tier, S tier of animated musicals. And I could honestly make a list that was, you know, the top 10 animated Disney pictures of all time. And I would still have things left over that I would want to add to the list. I also have a weird fascination with The Rock. I think he's one of the coolest people that has ever walked the planet and him being in this movie was awesome. I loved seeing him in it. He's not the best singer, but he's charismatic and he's interesting, even animated. You can still sense his like charisma, if you know what I mean. It's, it's really, really good. Honestly, if Moana had been around when I got my tattoos, I would have gotten a Moana tattoo instead of a Lilo and Stitch. Sorry, Stitch, it, it's nothing personal. But how can you compete with that? Number two on my list is controversial. I will admit that I am a grown ass man. Even when this movie first came out, I was still a grown ass man. But I cannot help how much I love the movie Frozen. Oh, woo! Head rush! So cute. 
cute. It's like a little baby unicorn. To this very day, I own the soundtrack to this musical. I played it in my car all the time. My brothers hated it. I don't apologize for that. It's got a killer soundtrack. Story and the characters are good. I mean, they're not fantastic. They're not dumb or boring, but they're nothing exceptional. What this movie does really well is the music. From start to finish, every track is fantastic. I can't even pick out a single one that I would skip if I was listening to the album. It's all great. It's all it's sad when it needs to be sad. It's joyous when it needs to be joyous. It does everything it needs to do in all the moments that it needs to do it. I would argue that this is one of the greatest musical scores ever. I love this movie so much, I still don't care about Let It Go. You can play it all you want. Go ahead, play it now. I'll listen to it gladly. Which brings us to number one on the list. And before we get into the number one, I know most of you said you don't like musicals. They're boring. I don't want to watch them. They're stupid. Grease sucks. I agree that Grease sucks. But maybe you like animated musicals more. Maybe you like cartoons. So go down into the comments. Let me know what your favorite animated musical is. If you don't like these, you can tell me that too and I'll never make one of these videos again. I promise. Just leave a comment either way. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. I know some of you didn't do that at the beginning. You can do it now. This is chance number two. My favorite animated musical of all time, if you know me in any capacity, this is no surprise to you. It is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Welcome to an extraordinary world filled with magic and wonder. Open your mind and let yourself go. Is it a Christmas movie? Is it a Halloween movie? Why are you asking such basic questions? It can be both. It is both. Honestly, it's a year long movie. You can play it at any time of the year, but you guys aren't ready to talk about that yet. I honestly think I may have been conditioned or uh, groomed, let's say by Hot Topic in my youth to love this movie. Even today, if you walk into a Hot Topic that's running currently, there will be a shitload of the Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise. Still, I don't even know if Zoomers these days even know what the Nightmare Before Christmas is. They must, because the merchandise is still there. It is such an amazing movie though, it's probably warranted. Every song in this movie is literally iconic. There are covers for almost every single song by people from like Marilyn Manson to Fall Out Boy. John Mayer does a song. This movie is so ingrained in pop culture, I don't think anyone could argue about how great it actually is. Well, that was the list for my animated musicals. Uh, doing the prep work for this video, I didn't even realize how many Disney animated musicals there were. I could literally make an entire video just about that. If you wanna see something like that, let me know, I love to do that as well. So keep an eye on your ovens, guys. Keep a song in your heart, and I'll see you guys next time.